Hi, this is Worth Godwin. In this lesson, I want to talk a little bit about a uh, c- computer term that not everybody understands, and they people don't really understand how it works. And what this is is something called Wi-Fi, which is means wireless internet. Now, in a separate lesson, I have talked about something called a wireless router, and I talked about the benefits of them. But I don't want to go into a lot about the the wireless router per se. Um, but it is there's some relation between the two because you get Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi signal from a router in the first place. And uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what a router is, but I'm mostly going to be focusing on the actual concept of wireless internet and Wi-Fi. Now there are kind, several kinds of wireless, and um, you have wireless that's used to hook something like a keyboard or, and mouse up to your computer. This may be through something called Bluetooth. That's one of the more common types of wireless in that context. But what I'm talking about really is wireless for the internet. Now, Wi-Fi is built into many laptops, pretty much every laptop these days, and uh, for a few years now. And it's also built into many desktop computers. And so, like the one I'm recording this on, for example, has a a wireless or Wi-Fi card built into it. It also has the separate Bluetooth, which is the for mice and keyboards and stuff like that, which is, again, not really what we're talking about. Uh, but wire, Wi-Fi is used primarily with computers, but also sometimes with devices like this, the iPhone. And um, while this mainly uses the cell phone connection, the cellular network, for not just phone calls, but also for getting on the internet, it can also use Wi-Fi. So there's a little bit of an overlap between where it's used. It's not just on computers, but it's also on some devices such as the iPhone and other similar devices like it. Now I just want to explain what the heck is it? How does it work? I'm not going to go into a lot of technical detail about how it works because it's not really important for your understanding. And what I'm going to do is give you an analogy, as I like to do with my my lessons. Um, what it's like is like one of these. This is a portable phone. It's an older model. It's just one I had lying around, and uh, but it's a good one to use to demonstrate because it's got an antenna, and it's very obviously a portable phone. Obviously, it's not a cell phone. There's a difference there, of course. Um, some people sometimes will interchange the sort of model those two terms together, but it, it's this is a portable phone as opposed to a cell phone, and I'm sure everybody who's watching this has seen one, of course. Um, so, what does this? What is this thing? How does it work? Well, basically, you have a phone cord that goes into the wall, and that takes your phone connection, puts it into here, and then it sends it out through the antenna wirelessly through radio signals, just like a regular radio on your car, um, just a different frequency. And then it goes to your handset. And the handset, as long as it's within range of the signal, allows you to talk and walk around without having the long cords that we used to deal with back in the old days of a few years ago. Um, And so basically, this is really pretty much just what Wi-Fi is and how it works. You have a router, which is like your hand, your cradle for your telephone, and it has a connection that it goes into, usually DSL or cable, uh, and it takes it, sends it wirelessly, again, through radio signals, to a receiver of some sort, which is generally going to be a card that's built into the computer, either into the laptop or, again, sometimes into some desktop computers. But basically, that wireless card or Wi-Fi card is really just like this headset, handset rather. It allows you to pick up the signal and have a conversation or have some sort of two-way communication going on. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's a really pretty simple. If you're familiar with a portable phone, which you probably are, then you now understand the basic concept of how Wi-Fi works. It, it's a little bit mysterious to most people until I explain it this way but I think it probably should make sense to you now. Um, And so just like the portable phone works over a certain range, because the signal only reaches so far, same thing with a Wi-Fi signal. That's why if you've got a laptop, you sometimes are able to pick up a signal, and sometimes you're not. 
and there are ways that things can be interfering with that signal just like with a radio signal in your car sometimes you might uh, be in certain areas where the signal should get but something's blocking it or, or it may, starts to break up and get a little static same thing basically happens with uh, either a portable phone or a wire, wireless Wi-Fi connection uh, for example I can pick up one of my neighbors signals occasionally it only sort of shows up a little bit because I'm right on the edge of the signal and so on a good day in good conditions the signal gets a little further and I can pick it up on in other situations it's not quite as far and I don't pick it up or I don't see it at all so essentially that's that's it it's it's just like a portable phone you've got your router which is like the head the uh, cradle and you've got a wireless card, Wi-Fi card, which is just like your head handset that goes and connects and picks the signal up from the cradle or, in this case, in the analogy, the router. So, I hope that makes sense. I do have a separate uh, lesson where I talk a little bit more in detail about routers, which you can look at in the member area. And I um, hope that makes sense. If you have any further questions or want any clarification or anything like that, please just reply to any one of my newsletters, let me know, and I'll make another video to explain it even further. But uh, I think that probably makes sense and gives you the basic idea.